I believe the words acoustic and analog to describe non-electric bicycles or regular bicycles are stupid. Hence, I will not use those terms to describe my non-electric regular bicycles. Instead, I will use non-electric bicycle, bicycle, or derivatives thereof. In my past video, I've shown you my Peugeot aluminum 12-speed racing bicycle. In this video, I'm going to show you the two non-electric bicycles that I brought out of storage last night. My parents bought me this Peugeot stainless steel 10-speed bicycle back in 1977 or 1978. I can't remember. It's been in storage since then, and it is in excellent condition. The craftsmanship is amazing. You can't see it in the video, but in real life, the bicycle is absolutely stunning. I'm going to take it to Columbus Cyclery for them to tune it up, clean it up, and get it roadworthy so I can ride it around town. I'm really looking forward to getting back on this bike. This is my sister's Bianchi San Jose mountain bike. It's a single gear bicycle, and it's been in storage for about 10 years. I'm going to take it to Columbus Cyclery for them to tune it up, and I'm really looking forward to riding it around town. When my girlfriend told me to pull out the Peugeot aluminum 12-speed racing bicycle out of storage, get it serviced by Columbus Cyclery, and get back to riding it, I never thought I would have so much fun riding this amazing bicycle. One of the main reasons I enjoy riding this bicycle is because it is a vintage bicycle, but the performance levels are still relevant today. It is super quick and super responsive. And the other thing I like about this bicycle is that it is unique. The chances of seeing this same exact model bicycle on the road is relatively low. My Peugeot 12-speed aluminum racing bicycle is now part of my training routine. Before or after tennis, I will ride from my house to Fort Point, as seen in this video. And it's about, I would say, nine miles round trip. When I first started riding, my average speed was about 4.4 miles per hour. After about a month or so of riding, my average speed is now 9.3 miles per hour. Pretty good considering that my ride home consists of riding up hills. Since this Peugeot aluminum 12-speed bicycle is a racing bicycle, there's not much room in the cockpit. Hence, I'm going to see if I can fit in a rear-view camera monitor in place of mirrors. And here is the monitor. And this monitor is hooked up to the camera, which is located at the rear of the bicycle attached to the seat post. So I will give this a try out on the road to see if it works as good or better than mirrors on the handlebar. <laughs> 